Hey, welcome back to round two with Brian Leakey. Alrighty, so here's the still shot from the second half of Brian Leakey's video. Uh, what he's doing here is comparing the angular size for part of the mountain on the right-hand side, uh, which is called the Old Man of Coniston, uh, calculating an angular size for that part between the pink lines to be 0 0.194 degrees, uh, and then translating that across to Blackpool Tower in the foreground. Uh, and then he says... Now we know that Blackpool Tower from that distance has an angular size of 0.496 degrees. Now you're starting to see the problem here. Blackpool Tower already almost fits in between the two pink lines. Well, if you saw my video last week, uh, you'll already know that Blackpool Tower extends way below that lower pink line. Uh, and also extends way above the pink line as well. Uh, and I put those in green. All right, so once again, his idea is 100% correct. Uh, if this photo was taken with a rectilinear lens, then that angular size of 0 0.194 degrees should be able to be applied to anything in the image, uh, regardless of whether it's in the foreground or the background, uh, whether you apply it vertically or horizontally. Uh, so that obviously includes Blackpool Tower. So again, his idea is correct. The ratio of those green lines to the pink lines should match the ratio of the angular sizes of 0 0.496 compared to 0 0.194. Um, but as usual, his implementation is where he messes up. All right, if we actually calculate that ratio, so the ratio of those two angular sizes is 2.56 to one. Uh, but if you go and count the pixels between the green lines, and compare it to the pixels between the pink lines, you get a ratio of about 1.66 to one. Uh, and that's significantly different. So let's do some more forensics and see where it all goes wrong. All right, let's start with the easy stuff. Uh, we've already dealt with Dow Crag in the last video. Uh, it's not 753 meters high, it's actually 778. Uh, similarly, Old Man of Coniston is not 796 meters, it's actually 803 meters. Uh, and if you go back and watch the previous video, I calculated an angular size of Blackpool Tower to be 0 0.488 degrees uh, rather than 0 0.496. Uh, that obviously depends on an accurate height above sea level for it, which we don't really have. Um, it's, it's probably time I sent out a surveyor to do it uh, and get an accurate measurement. Uh, but anyway, just keep in mind that the actual height uh, is a little bit uncertain. All right, so the main thing we're going to look at in this video is the calculation of that 0 0.194 degrees and the placement of the pink line. Okay, so let's look at this uh, 0 0.194 degrees between the pink lines. Uh, that angle comes from taking the height of the mountain, subtracting that 476 meters, uh, which is the elevation of that uh, somewhat arbitrary pink line, uh, and getting 277 meters between the top of the mountain, uh, and then converting that 277 meters into an angular size. All right, so working backwards, uh, if we add that 277 meters to the, the arbitrary 476 meter pink line, we get 753 meters, uh, which is the given height um, for the height of Dow Crag on the left, not the old man of Coniston on the right. Uh, if you look back at the image, the pink line is clearly drawn to the top of the mountain on the right. So that's incredibly sloppy work, Brian. Uh, I can see on screen though that you added this little caveat about, you know, even if I used 320 meters, blah, 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 uh, then I get a different answer. That's fine. But as, as, as I said, it's incredibly clear that you use the wrong mountain. So you should have used 0 0.224 rather than 0 0.194. And you've left yourself open then to the accusation that you cheated uh, in favor of flat earth when you should be doing the opposite. All right, so adding 320 meters to the you know, arbitrary 476 meter line, you get 796 meters. Uh, but the official height of old man Coniston is 803 meters. Uh, so instead of using uh, 320 meters, we should be getting an angular size for 327 meters. Uh, you also made a little typo. The, the distance is not 81.7 kilometers. It's actually 81.47 kilometers. 
Right, so if you do the angular size calcs for that, you should get an angular size of 0 0.230 degrees. You are off by almost 20%, uh, which is not a good start. All right, probably time for another mid-game recap. Um, so the problem we need to address is the, the ratio of the calculated angular sizes, so 0 0.496 to 0 0.194 doesn't match with the ratio of the pixels between the green lines and the pink lines, uh, which we worked out to be 1.66 to 1. So, so far we've corrected the angular size calculations for Blackpool Tower uh, and the Old Man of Coniston. And now instead of 2.56 to 1, we have 2.12 to 1. All right, so we've gotten closer, but we're still quite some way off. So let's have a look at the placement of the lower pink line. Okay, so this is the screenshot from Brian's video, uh, but the pink lines, I'm fairly sure, were actually drawn by Ranty uh, in that stream from earlier this year. Uh, what Ranty has done is try to identify a landmark on the mountain and then look on Google Earth to get the elevation of that landmark, which just happened to be 476 meters. Uh, he then tried to line up the, the Google Earth image with the photo uh, and translate that 476 meters across to the Kevin Jackson photo. And just to be clear, I don't care who makes the mistakes, uh, whether it's Brian or Ranty or Katz or me, whoever. I'm just here to be as accurate as I can be. All right, so first things first, uh, be very careful just taking Google Earth elevations for granted. Uh, as we discovered back in 2018 from the St. Bees to Isle of Man observation, uh, the numbers can be quite some way off, uh, especially when the terrain is steep and the, the data has a, a very low resolution. Uh, if you go in Google Earth and uh, hover your mouse over the Old Man of Coniston, you'll see that the highest elevation you can find is only about 784 meters, uh, which is a full 19 meters short of its full height. Uh, that's a problem because when Ranty is trying to line up the two images between Google Earth and the Kevin Jackson photo, he's lining up 784 meters on the left uh, with its actual height in the photo of 803 meters. Um, so we'll account for that shortly, uh, but first let's see if the placement of the lower pink line is actually at 476 meters. Okay, so here's the overhead shot of both Dow Crag and Old Man of Coniston. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is fade in a map from Ordnance Survey, uh, which is the official source of elevations in the UK, and I'll do it a couple of times. Uh, and what I want you to pay attention to is the three bodies of water, as well as the walking track, uh, which I have outlined in black. All right, so now you can see how well they're aligned. Uh, what I can do is use the path tool uh, in Google Earth to trace along the contour lines for 470 meters and 480 meters, which I have done here in yellow. Uh, what you'll also notice are these two aqua colored squares. Um, these are actually polygons in Google Earth. Uh, and what you can do with polygons is set them at an arbitrary height above sea level. Uh, basically, you just have to right click on the polygon, go to properties, uh, click over to the altitude tab, change the drop down to be absolute, and then just set the height. Uh, obviously, for Dow Crag, I've set it to be 778 meters, uh, and for Old Man of Coniston, I've set it to be 803 meters. Rightio. Uh, so now, what I can go and do is position myself over where Kevin Jackson took the photo from. Uh, and see what those yellow lines look like against the actual photo. Uh, I've got to admit I cheated a little bit here in that I've raised the observer up just so I can see over the top of Blackpool. Uh, this has virtually zero effect on the angular size calcs uh, for the background mountains, but I'm sure some fluff out there will complain, uh, obviously without doing the calculations to verify. Um, what this means is that you can't use the foreground objects to align things vertically, uh, but you can still use them horizontally. So the objects we are trying to line up horizontally uh, are things like Blackpool Tower, uh, that tower on the right hand side, uh, a couple of church steeples, stuff like that. Um, that will ensure that we've got the right scale for the image. Uh, then what we're trying to line up vertically 
uh, are the peaks of the two mountains in the photo uh, with their actual heights rather than the heights given by Google Earth, uh, which means lining up those aqua-colored polygons from Google Earth with the peaks in the photo. All right, so let's fade that in now uh, and see where the yellow lines line up in the photo. All right, uh, so as you can see, when we transfer that uh, 476 meter elevation across to the photo, uh, it's significantly higher than where Ranty has placed it. Um, so let's move that line up there now. And it's now uh, in line with that sort of lowest horizontal strut of Blackpool Tower. Uh, so let's recalculate our ratios. Uh, remember we've got the angular size ratios, uh, 0 0.488 degrees uh, compared to 0 0.230 degrees is a ratio of 2.12 to 1. Uh, but now we've moved that lower pink line up, we also need to recalculate our pixel ratio. Uh, if anyone wants to take a screenshot and do the pixel count, uh, you'll see that the ratio is now about 2.09 to 1. Whoa! Uh, and that is off by only about 1.5%, uh, which is near enough for me, uh, especially given the uncertainty in the height of Blackpool Tower. And just to rub Brian's nose in it a little bit more, uh, let's assume that his angular size calc of 0 0.194 degrees uh, between those pink lines is correct, and then see where the base of Old Man Coniston is if we apply the full size. All right, so the full size of the mountain is 803 meters, and it's a distance of 81.47 kilometers, and this gives it an angular size of 0 0.565. Uh, and that means we need to scale the mountain to almost three times bigger uh, than the space between the pink lines. Uh, and that puts the base of the mountain way down here. Um, are you sure you want to stick with your numbers, Brian? I didn't think so.